Hi everyone, in week two, here we are at my lesson three, Bling It On. Add sparkles with pens and glitter glues. If you know me at all, you know that I love the bling and I love to add light and shine to my artwork. What a fun thing to, to add to your cards, especially for the holidays. So I'm gonna just show you a really quick, fun, fancy, fabulous fur that you can make on your holiday card with some watercolor, some pens, and some glitter glue. I like the stickles. That's what's giving you all that shimmer. And also a doodle ornament card that you can use for your holiday card as well. Real simple. And then I'm just gonna show you some white lettering on some, on some really dark watercolor. So to make the fancy fur, all you're going to do is you're gonna take your water brush or your paint brush, and if you can make the letter Z, if you can make the letter Z or pretend that you're Zorro, <laughs> the, the letter Z, you can make the fun fancy fur. And you see that all I did in my book, and I just practicing in my journal, all I did was just kind of swish that shape back and forth. I can just add the little bucket and any color down here, and there I have my fancy fur. That's it, that's it. How long did that take? You could do these for the holidays in no time. And then as far as a background, you can take your traditional Christmas colors and you can add, you know, red or blue or anything to the background just to give it a little bit more holiday pizzazz. I also took a black pen and just outlined my star and just gave the, uh, the tree a little bit more movement with a black line. And then I framed it with my typical doodle line. And then we did some lettering. We're going to let that dry. And then you would just go back in and square off your page. It's just very loose, and if you can write your name, and if you can just make a line with a paintbrush, you can make this really fun card. So I'm just, just giving the little practice in my visual journal. I'm feeling comfortable, so now I would go on to my cards. See, I just added the, I just squared off the bottom, add the red into that negative space, and then in the red would be where my message would go. I could actually write the message here. I could do the tissue paper text on here as I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm just going to take my whatever glitter glue that you have, and I'm just gonna run just a glittery little garland right through the tree, and there's my holiday card. Isn't that just awesome? And then the other thing is, if you've, if you've got the envelopes, do up the envelopes with just a quick little painted line. And if you really wanted to get crazy, maybe for some special people that you're hand delivering the card to, you can paint a border around your envelope. You can get your glitter glue and you can just kind of do a little intentional scribble, not a messy scribble, but an intentional artful scribble down your envelope. So there, we're just blinging up the envelopes as well. So that would, wouldn't that be a fun card to get? So there's your envelope for the fancy fur. And then if you wanted to do something along the line of an ornament, watch how, watch how fun and simple this is. So again, I'm just gonna go into my green paint. I'm just going to doodle paint. I'm gonna doodle paint the ornaments, just a swirly circle. And then I'm just gonna add the letter A on top with a flat head, letter A with a flat head. I'm gonna make a question mark for a hook. So there's your little question mark. You can go the other way for this. So there I've just made my little hooks for my ornaments. To take another color, maybe I'll just do reds, and I'm just going to swipe some color across the circle. How easy is this? Isn't this fun? On your little Strathmore watercolor cards, just add simple little embellishments, but you could paint a bunch of these like in no time. You have plenty of time to get these done. So just some little, little dots across the ornament, just like a ball with a band around it, and there's your ornament. And then you're just gonna go into your negative space and square off the card like we've done in all the other lessons. See, so we're just squaring off in the negative space. And you have this simple card, but it's just it's just a beautiful handmade piece of art. It's a little masterpiece on a little tiny card that someone will absolutely cherish because you made it. You're just gonna fill the color in into the negative space. Then you're gonna take your, you can just add your message with your pen, maybe a brush pen, and then just outline everything with your glitter glues. 
Now the way I did this lettering was I drew with, a, with an acrylic paint marker, and there's so many on the market. Um, I just drew with the acrylic paint marker, Tis the Season to Shine, and then I just took my white pen, which I have to actually share this with you, is the Uniball Signo Pigment Ink White Pen that just works absolutely fabulous. And what I did is I outlined the green with my white pen so that the, the letters would pop off my card. Okay, so again, you can do it in pencil, go over it with your acrylic marker because you know exactly where it's going to go. So you could just paint a whole box of these and they could be ready to go. Then you can also just paint a really dark background and use the white pen. And you see, again, if you're comfortable, just take your, take your pencil and do your pencil first. But here's just my lettering, tis the, and it's just my own handwriting. I'm just, just writing. I'm using uppercase. I'm using lowercase. I'm using print. I'm using cursive. And I'm combining them all. Tis the season to give the O a little swirl and then shine. Tis the season to shine. And here's your holiday card. Don't you love it? So here's my white pen on a real dark blue. And that's my holiday card. That's my Christmas card. Then I'm just going to take my glitter glue and I'm going to just, just draw a little star and I'm just going to swipe that glitter glue right across the tree. And there is my holiday card on the beautiful Strathmore watercolor paper cards. So bling it on and have fun and I will see you in week two, lesson four. My final lesson is up next.